Hello, my name is Drake Cottle. I am the senior pastor at First Baptist Church of Carmi, and I want to say welcome to you and thank you for joining me for this time of worship and from hearing in God's Word. At this time, I want to open up in prayer, and after we pray, you'll hear some. You'll hear a song of worship, and you are free to sit back and enjoy, or you can sing along with them. And then after the singing, I will share with you from God's Word from the book of First Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. So at this time, let us pray and open up our time together with prayer. Our Father, we come to you today thanking you for the technology that you have given us this year in 2021 that we can, uh, that we can share God's Word through video, we can sing through video, and we can pray and fellowship even through video. So God, I pray this day that you will use our time together to glorify your name, to edify the saints of God, and to share the good news of Jesus Christ with those who are not believers. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. All right, God bless you, and uh, at this time we will have a time of worship through song.
hello again, and I hope that you enjoyed the time of worship. Again, my name is Drake, and I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Church. And again, I want to say thank you for listening today to our time together as we worship through song and through prayer and from hearing from God's Word. Now, 2020 was definitely an odd year, right? I think that's a year that we would probably like to forget. And at the same time, it's a year that we will all remember, probably for the rest of our lives, right? There are some things that stick out in my mind when I think of the year 2020. Things like the virus, or masks, social distancing, the election, quarantining. Like, there are even jokes about the year 2020. I heard a joke one time that that said 2020 was a really odd leap year. There were 29 days in February, there were 500 days in March, and there were five years in April. What that joke means is that 2020 seemed to go on forever and ever and ever, right? We can amen to that. Now, while it's easy for us to remember certain things, there are also things that we really want to remember, but Maybe we forget sometimes. There are times that I've forgotten birthdays. I've forgotten anniversaries before. I've forgotten special occasions well over the years. But in the Bible, there's a man by the name of Paul. And the Apostle Paul went to a town called Thessalonica. Big word, but it was a city in Paul's day and age that Paul went to this city and started a church. Later on, Paul was forced to leave the city of Thessalonica, but as he left, he ended up writing a letter to the church of Thessalonica. And today, what I want to do is I want to read the introduction to this letter. That's all I want to read. And I want us to see in this introduction what Paul remembered about the church. And what we're going to see here, we're going to see three characteristics, three things that Paul called to mind, that Paul remembered. And I hope that these three characteristics, that you and I will examine them today and see if they are worth remembering in our lives as well. So I'm going to read from God's Word. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, and we're going to read the first three verses. Paul writes, Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. We give thanks to God always for all of you, constantly mentioning you in our prayers. Listen to this. Remembering before our God and Father your work of faith, your labor of love, and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, here in the introduction to this letter, Paul has introduced himself. He introduced those who were with him, and Paul greets the church. Paul then calls to mind what he remembers here about the church when he prays for them. And as we go back through these three characteristics, I want us to think today, what do people call to mind when they think about us? What do people call to mind? What do they remember when they think about you? Do they remember or call to mind how how much of a hard worker you were? Do they call to mind that you are a loving mother? or a respectable father, respectable businessman. Look, these are not bad things. They are truly commendable characteristics of our lives. But are those the only things that people will remember you and I for? So what I want us to do first as we look at these, I want us to be challenged today, and I want us to ask God to help us be remembered for these three things in the year 2021, okay? So firstly, the work of faith is worth remembering in 2021. Again, Paul said in verse 3, when he mentions the church in their prayers, in his prayers, he said, remembering before our God, 
your work of faith. Now, work of faith, what Paul is talking about here, is your conduct or how we live our lives. What are we producing in our lives? I think in order for us to think about some things that we should produce, I think we need a good example, right? We need someone that we can follow, someone that we can imitate for this work of faith. I think our perfect example that we could use is Jesus himself. Jesus is our perfect example. There's a story in the book of Matthew, and this story is true, but in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus went on a boat with his disciples, and Jesus went to sleep. And while the ship, or while the boat was going across the waters, a storm came. And this storm was violent, and waves were beating up against the boat. The disciples, who were professional fishermen, by the way, some of them were, they became afraid. So they went to Jesus, and they started to wake him up. And they asked Jesus, do you not care that we perish? At that time, Jesus could have stayed laying down, could have stayed asleep. I know if it were me, if someone tries to wake me from my sleep, I may stay asleep. Well, my children, I have four children, and when one of them tried to wake me up, I sometimes stay asleep. I'm not the easiest to wake up. So Jesus could have stayed asleep. But instead, Jesus stood up, and he held his hands over the waters, and he said, Peace, be still. And immediately the winds ceased, and they stopped. And Jesus looked at the disciples and said, O oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? Do you know what the disciples remembered Jesus for that day? They remembered him and they said, What manner of man is this that even the winds and the seas obey him? Let me ask you today, what is your life producing? How are you living your life? Do you have a life of bitterness today or do you have a life of faith in God? Do you have a life of anger or do you have a life of faith in God? Do you have a life of complaining that you're not satisfied with the things that are going on in your life today or do you have a life of faith in God? Look, situations may go or they may not go your way in 2021. But we have a Savior that we can trust. And we have a Savior that we can look to for our work in faith. And secondly, this is what Paul wrote. He said not only does he remember in his prayers their work of faith, but he also remembers their labor of love. And secondly, what I want us to examine ourselves today and see is that a labor of love is worth remembering in 2021. The word labor of love or that phrase labor of love means work. Wait a minute, pastor. You just talked about work. Is Paul talking about work again? Absolutely. Paul is talking about when he writes labor of love, work that involves trouble, work that involves pain along the way, but it continues. It endures in love. Like I'm sure that many of you have experienced the trouble and, and pain in 2020. Or maybe even throughout your life, you've, ex you've experienced trouble and pain and difficulty. Some may have experienced more trouble than others. Again, let's look to our perfect example. Let's look to Jesus. You see, Jesus experienced the ultimate pain. Jesus experienced the ultimate difficulty on the cross. But Jesus endured the pain. He endured the cross and the difficulty with love. And he did so for the redemption of others. He loved us so much that he gave up his life for others. He gave up his life for us. You see, in 2021, it may or may not be easier than 2020. We don't know, right? We don't know. But I want to encourage you, don't give up on loving one another. Don't give up on loving one another. It's not too late. 
to endure the trouble, to endure the difficulty, to endure the pain in your life. Jesus promised you he would never leave you. He will never forsake you. Jesus will give us strength to continue or to endure the trouble with the goal of loving one another. Finally, what did Paul remember? He said that he remembered their work of faith, their labor of love, and their steadfastness of hope. I'm not not sure what tomorrow will hold. Will it bring more shutdowns? Will the next day bring more quarantine? Will it bring another mask or two? It felt like at times it was difficult to have hope. But in this passage, in the introduction to Paul's letter to the church, Paul remembered their steadfast, their enduring hope of the church. You see, their hope wasn't in the things of this world because the things of this world change. They are not eternal, but their hope was in Jesus. Let me ask you today. Where is your hope? Do people know you as a person of hope? It's easy for us to see the trouble, right? It's easy for us to see the chaos. It's easy to see the turmoil in this world and to even feel hopeless at times. But enduring hope, hope that is steadfast, that kind of hope can only be found in Jesus Christ. So today I want to ask you, where is your hope? Hope that is seen. That's not real hope. Jesus has given us real hope, my friends. You see, when we place our faith and our trust in Jesus, and when we place our hope and our trust in the forgiveness of our sins, in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, we then stand before God justified. And we have hope that we will live forever with him one day. So do you have that hope today? Do you have hope that you will live forever and ever with God? Maybe you feel like you've waited too late. Maybe you feel like that there's just not much time left. Or maybe you feel like you have all the time left in the world. Today, I want to tell you some good news. Today, I want to tell you that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Today, you can have hope that endures through the trouble and the chaos and the turmoil of this world. The Bible teaches that when we admit to God that we are a sinner and when we believe that Jesus died on the cross and that he came back to life and when we confess that he is our Savior and Lord, we will be saved. Today, I want to invite you to pray. And it's really, it's easy as A, B, C. And I just said the words, admit, believe, and confess. Admit to God that you're a sinner. Through prayer, admit that. And then through prayer, believe. Tell God that you believe that Jesus died on the cross and came back to life again. And through prayer, confess that Jesus is your Savior and Lord. You will be saved. And then when you do that, when you pray that prayer, talk to Brother Mike. I know Mike would love to share and to, and to talk with you about what it means to be a Christian. And, or maybe call your pastor or call me. You can call me here at First Baptist Church of Karamai. I'd love to talk with you about what it means to be a Christian. This year, 2021, we can live a life that's worth remembering through our work of love through our labor of love, through our work of faith, and through our steadfast hope. And we have a perfect example. His name is Jesus. So today I want to encourage you today, look to our perfect example and place your trust and your hope in him. Let me pray with you today. God, I thank you for this time that we've had looking at God's word. And I thank you today that we have a perfect example in Jesus. God, I pray that you will help us this year to live a life worth remembering, to live a life that's 
uh, that's a work of faith, that's a labor of love, and that has steadfast hope. And help us, God, to look to our perfect example, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Again, we want to say thank you for joining us, and I hope that you have a great and wonderful day. God bless you.